All right, uh, we're going to see some red ink at the opening bell, which is all of three and a half minutes' time. Dow down about 70. David Barnson with us this morning. David Barnson is our dividend guy. And David, I want you to tell me about Pepsi. Does it really yield 10%? No, it yields 2.5%, but grows the dividend 10% per ah, year. Okay. So it's the whole thing we talk about all the time about the current dividend, which is the cash you're going to get, but then the growth of that dividend over time. For over 20 years, they've grown it 10% per year. Okay, so that's, that's what I need. I clarified. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. How about Verizon? What do they pay? Yeah, now they are paying 7%. No. And the, the good news is that's a very high dividend for someone buying it today. The bad news is one of the reasons that dividend yield is so high is the stock price is down quite a bit. But they continue to grow the dividend. They have been a really consistent payer. However, the company has a lot of challenges to work through. But we believe that that's priced into the stock and you can get paid 7% while you wait. So it is reliable. A 7% uh, dividend on Verizon is a reliable number. Yes, we've studied their cash flows over and over. We believe they can continue maintaining that dividend and even growing it a little bit while they fix some of the issues with their wireless business. Well, 7% is very attractive. Okay. What will be the standout in big tech earnings? They start today. What stands out to you? You know, it's a great question because each company in big tech these days is trading off of their own situation. They're not all lumped together anymore. And so I think what happens with Facebook is different than Apple and then with Microsoft. I just want to hear what Microsoft says about business spending. Are companies dialing down what they're spending? That You know, Microsoft has done so well in the cloud, Stuart. That's the big question I have. What's going on? with corporate spending. Do you uh, ever invest in these big tech companies? They're not known for dividend pay uh, paying. Do you, you put money into them? Yeah, we have a huge investment in IBM and Cisco. Aren't those big well, tech companies? I, I'm thinking of the FANG stocks, you know. I can't even yeah. list them at the moment. No, we don't, Stuart. And, and um, we owned Apple for many years, and Apple was a good dividend grower, but they just stopped growing the dividend, and it got to be very overpriced, and we ended up looking pretty good because we sold it before it dropped off. But we don't buy these other ones that aren't dividend payers, Google, Amazon. We really believe in that return of cash to shareholders. What does IBM pay these days? O over 5%, and they continue growing the dividend. They uh, just announced a tiny dividend increase this morning. But um, IBM has been a wonderful performer, and they really are a tech company with an exciting growth business, but still has that kind of old school business generating the cash flow, my friend. And that was your dad's stock. It should be somebody else's <laughs> stock these days as well. Hey, David, you're all right. Thanks for joining us. See you again real soon.